Hi, my name is James Turner and this is the Vision 444 and I'm going to take you through on a walkthrough. We've got loads of storage up here. We've got a storage lazarette over here. We've got additional lazarette for your anchor chain. Uh, in this one here we've got fuel tanks. We run uh, 650 litres of diesel. Um, in this lazarette here we have got uh, epoxy composite uh, gas cylinders um, so you don't have any corrosion issues. Um, plus you've got additional storage. Once again, all our um, hatches are, are on stainless steel gas struts. Over here we've got our windlass. Uh, also nice and accessible. Uh, you've got windlass control buttons um, up and down on the deck and you've also got a control at the helm. So uh, this allows you to be short-handed too. Here we've got our fuel tank system. Um, our deck fillers are right over here, which is quite cool for many reasons, is that if your tank uh, monitoring fails, you can just take a old school, take your broomstick, take whatever, dip it in, and you know exactly how much fuel you got. So that's a great redundancy. We've also got a nice crossover valve so we can balance the tanks. Um, and uh, yeah, so you don't ever have to worry about one fuel tank having more fuel than the other. Nice big storage locker, uh, you can keep sails in here too. Got a couple of hooks for hanging on additional uh, sheets and lines. Here we've got our generator room. Um, this is a great space, huge amount of space. Um, I'll climb down there so you can actually have a look at how much space is in there. Uh, you can see we've got uh, just some steps to help you get down here. We've got EVA decking on the floor here as well real comfortable space um, yeah you can come down here and film it and have a look it's a it's a great great space here everything's nice and accessible also when you're not using the space you can put additional sails in here the space even big enough if you want your wife to come help you service the generator she uh, she can <laughs> so you'll see uh, got a catwalk here little hatch here just to access the um, anchor. We run um, a Supreme Anchor uh, to Rockner. Up forward here we've got our prodder. We fly our screecher or our asymmetrical off. Um, nice thing, we've got uh, three, three attachment points for uh, asymmetric spinnaker. You can either fly it off the prodder or we've got these additional control lines here, these uh, tack lines um, which is great because you can connect the port one and the starboard one together and you can make a bridle system and it allows you to pull your spinnaker to weather so you can fly more dead downwind or you can bring it to the center and pull it down and attach it to your prodder and use it as a normal asymmetric. If you come over look here you can see our control lines are nicely grouped together they all run nice and clean after the helm and keeps the deck nice and uh, clean and open. So as you look aft in this video, you're probably wondering, how do you get to your boom? Well, we've got a really simple solution. We've, we, we went with the LG Neon uh, panels just because they've got a really great yield and they're really efficient. And we went away from flexible panels because it's just such an efficiency loss. And so we went to these panels and we've got a really cool little system that we came up with. So all we do is we're using the Railblazer starport system which allows us to actually flip our panels over. Okay, so if you want to access down the center, we can fold all our panels away and you've got nice cabin top to walk on and this allows you total access to your boom. Um, it's really quick and it's not, a, it's not a mission to click and just fold. If you know you're going to be going into bad weather and you don't want your panels open all the time you can close them and make sure you've got that um, that access to your cabin top just in case of emergency and uh, it, you know you don't have to be in a panic to try open and close your 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 solar panels um, but yes also these panels we're just finding we're getting such good performance out of them um, way better than what we expected uh, like I said we've got three kilowatts of power here um, and uh, you yeah, know really happy with the yield we're getting out of them.